In this video, I'll be showing you how to auto-click buttons and elements on web forms. We've already covered the basics of autopilot commands in another video, but here's a quick reminder of how they work. In this example, I type my shortcut in the subject line. This triggers my snippet and the first line of text is inserted. After a brief delay, TextBlaze emulates a tab key press to move to the email contents window, pauses again and inserts the body of my email. This workflow works great in simple scenarios such as this one. But what if I need to perform a more complex action such as the one we're seeing right now? In that case, I can use the click command and instruct it to click a specific element on the website. Here's what that looks like. I type my shortcut and the first bit of text from my snippet is inserted. Next, the click command opens up the menu by clicking on it. You can see this happening by observing the yellow flash here. Since HubSpot allows me to search inside menus, I'm using my snippet to insert text inside the menu search bar and get exactly the choice I need. Finally, I emulate the Enter key to confirm my selection. The rest of the process works the same way. Click, Insert Text, Enter key. Once TextBlaze is done filling out the form, I've got a final click command to complete the submission. Now, let me show you how to build a simple example. Here's a snippet with some text to be inserted inside my note in HubSpot. Now, I need a click command. If I leave the command as it is, TextBlaze will attempt to click at the location of the cursor, which in this case would be the note contents window. I want TextBlaze to click on the Outcome menu, and this is how it's done. The process is similar to using the Selector tool to read data from a website. You can learn more about that in a dedicated video. At this point, we should have the Outcome menu open. We know HubSpot allows us to search inside menus, so let's take advantage of that. For the final step, let's add a key enter command to confirm the selection. And this is what it looks like in action. Using this handful of commands, you can also replicate the workflow I showed you earlier. TextBlaze has many other autopilot commands that can save you a ton of time when filling out web forms. The best place to learn about them is the help site, where you'll find detailed examples, videos, and even ready-made snippets for you to copy, modify, and use with just a few clicks. And make sure you visit our community for ideas and inspiration from other users like yourself.